Hey everybody, my name is Steph Koza and welcome to my review of Solo, A Star Wars Story. Solo was directed by Ron Howard and stars Alden Ehrenreich, Woody Harrelson, Amelia Clark, and Donald Glover, among others. And it's essentially the origin story of Han Solo. It's not really some big, huge, epic Star Wars story. It's not like some tremendously important, monumental storyline. This movie is just a heist movie, an origin of Han Solo, and an explanation of how he kind of became the character that we all know and love. Which I am here for. I was all on board for this movie. I was a little bit skeptical about the casting of Han Solo, but I went in with an open mind, ready to see this story of my favorite Star Wars character and see where it all began. So I was on board. I was ready. And I'm just gonna come right out and say it. This movie is very average at best. I mean, I, I will say I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun watching it. There were a lot of cool Easter eggs, some characters that got introduced, which was really cool to see. I loved seeing Han meet Chewie and see their origin of their friendship and see that friendship develop over the course of the film. I thought that was done really well. I loved seeing Lando and how Han meets him and how they kind of have this chemistry, but also a lot of banter back and forth and like they're not really friends, but they're kind of friends. And it was just cool to see that relationship develop and I just loved seeing the two of them together on screen. That was so much fun. Lando was great in this film. He was charming, he was suave, he was cool, he was funny. I loved him. He was wonderful. And I also loved Alden Ehrenreich, whose name I might be pronouncing incorrectly because it's a mouthful. But I was very very skeptical, much like most people who saw the trailer. From the trailers, he didn't really look like he could pull off the Han Solo look. He kind of has a weird face. He's not very attractive to me. And Han is like, my dream. He's just a dream. So I was a little skeptical. I thought his voice was kind of weird, but after seeing the movie, I was actually significantly impressed with his performance. I thought he did a really good job, much better than I thought he would. There were some moments where I was like, yeah, okay, that's Han. That sounds like Han. That's, that's something Han would say. He had some of the mannerisms. You could tell that he was Han Solo. But he's not entirely the Han that we know today because this is the origin of Han. He's still kind of young and innocent and pure in a way. He hasn't been like completely broken by the world yet, so he's not like, he's not yet a scruffy looking nerf herder. Maybe by the end of the movie he's a scruffy looking nerf herder, but we see him get there, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, like I said, this movie is not a huge story, which I think is kind of refreshing. It's nice to have just like a little snippet of just a story. Nothing crazy, nothing monumental, nothing detrimental to the overarching plot. It's just a little snippet of Han's life just to give us a little bit more about him and his character. But unfortunately, I think just in this movie in particular, that's not really enough. This movie is just a very average sci-fi heist film. And I'm all about heist movies, I'm all about sci-fi, but it didn't quite feel like a Star Wars movie to me, and it didn't really feel like if you took the Star Wars name out of it, it would really change that much. Like, the only thing that made it a Star Wars film was, like, all the references. And there are a lot of references and a lot of Easter eggs. And that was really cool to watch, but it was kind of just like something would happen or someone would say something and I would just be like, Ah, I understand that reference. Aha, neat. It wasn't anything, like, mind-blowing. It was just like, oh, so that's where that came from. Or, oh, that's what that was. Just kind of like semi-interesting little tidbits here and there, but nothing like mind-blowing. There were like a couple moments that were like, okay, that was pretty cool. I can get behind that. Like seeing Han Solo fly the Millennium Falcon for the first time, so cool. Seeing how he learns how to fly a certain way is really cool. And also seeing him kind of become the Han that we know based on what happens to him in this movie and a lot of his interactions with Woody Harrelson. Like, I felt like Woody Harrelson's character was sort of like his mentor in a way, and he kind of taught him this jaded, untrusting mentality, which we know is how Han is normally, so seeing him in this movie not really being that way was interesting to see how he gets there and how Woody Harrelson's character really impacts him and is like, hey, stop trusting people. Everyone's an asshole. He's like, oh, okay, you're right. I liked Woody Harrelson's character a lot in this movie. I feel like he could have been a little bit more... Every character in this film was, like, just not enough. Like, I just wanted a little bit more because I didn't really care about anyone except Han and Chewie. Everyone else, I was just like, you can die. That's fine. I won't really miss you. And there was also no true sense of danger because you know Han and Chewie and Lando survive, so, like, 
if they're the only characters that I care about, and they're the only characters I know aren't gonna die, there's not really a sense of danger or of any kind of risk. It's just like, well, I know they're gonna win, and it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Everything in general was just very lackluster to me. Like, it was fun, it was enjoyable, I had a good time, I had a couple laughs, I had a lot of, like, aha moments, like I was saying, but the plot overall was very meh, meh. I think my least favorite thing was Amelia Clark's character. I hated her so much that I don't even remember her name. I actually don't remember anyone's name. I can't remember Woody Harrelson's character's name. Anyone that was like a new character, pfft, no idea. Oh yeah, and Paul Bettany was in this movie. I completely forgot until right now that he's also in this film. I mean, he was a really good character, I guess. His performance was done really well, but he just kind of felt like, he was sort of supposed to be the villain, but not really. There's not really a villain in this movie, there's just like some shitty people. And he did have a few badass moments near the end, I was like, oh, that's cool. You're pretty cool. But like, he didn't have enough screen time for me to really give that much of a shit. Kira! Her name was Kira! Oh my god. I hated Kira. I hated- I, she just didn't need to be there. She- I feel like her being there depletes Han's character and depletes some other things that happen in the original Star Wars movies. And I think her character was very bland. She was very like, I don't know, I couldn't really get a good read on her. She was kind of all over the place. I couldn't really tell where her loyalties lie. I couldn't really tell what she was thinking at any given time. Like I still, after seeing the movie, I, I just don't think she was written very well. I didn't enjoy watching her on screen. I didn't enjoy her interactions with anyone. She was very bland. Like she just had nothing worthwhile to say or do. And I also think she impacted Han's character so much that made like everything about this movie not as good as it could have been. Like it affected his motivation for doing things. It affected his overall character. It affected every word that came out of his mouth. Like it was just, she just took away so much from this movie and I think it would have been a much better film without her. I think that this movie could have gone a different way and it could have been a lot better than it was. I think there are a lot of ways they could have told this story, and they didn't go with the best one. But it could have been worse. I expected it to be worse. I had a good time, believe it or not. <laughs> there are some really cool moments that I can't talk about because they are spoilers, but <gasps> there was one, there was one moment where I cheered of excitement. That that was a great moment, and that gives this movie some points. There were some pretty cool action sequences. There's one theory I have about a character, I can't tell you what it is, but there were just a lot of really cool easter eggs in this movie, and if you're a real fan, you will appreciate them, and I just had a really fun time despite its flaws. So because of that, I'm gonna give this movie a 3 out of 5. I had a good time, it's an action-packed sci-fi heist film. Could have been a little bit better, definitely could have been worse. I think out of all the Star Wars movies, I would rank this pretty down at the bottom. Like, let's say the prequels are here, this movie's like right there. So there you have it. That's my review of Solo. Let me know if you guys saw Solo and what you thought about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. I really want to talk to you guys about some spoilers about all of my fan theories. I have a lot of theories. I have a lot of things I want to talk about that happened in this movie because there were a lot of really cool things that happened and a lot of like holy shit I did not expect that to happen in this movie kind of thing. So if you want to chat about it with me and a bunch of other awesome subscribers you can come join our Patreon chat room where we will be talking about this movie specifically. There's a link in the description where you can go to my Patreon, join. No matter what tier you are you will be invited into this chat room and we can chat about it and have a great jolly old time. I cannot wait to talk about it with you guys because I have so many things to talk about. Ugh. I love Star Wars. I love it so much. But that's it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Steph Koza. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more reviews of movies and TV shows and all sorts of fun things. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.